Rated E for everyone. We are a fan of the people who are in 彼らを探してるっていうのは分かってますし、あのミスイというポスターで、ね、まあ貼られたぐらいまあ要望があるキャラクターだというのは分かってましたので、まああのいつもこういう新しいキャラクターをシリーズに加えていくっていうのは新しい冒険の始まりっていうこともあって、まあ、僕らいつもワクワクしてます。So the thing I like most about Ray and Mighty is the fact that their their whole look is incredibly consistent with classic Sonic. I have to be emphatic here: there are no copy pastes. With with Ray or with Mighty, they're all built completely from scratch. The real challenge, I think, was to actually bring completely new animations into their repertoire that would fit with their characters. Ray is a bit more of a, a, a plucky, happy-go-lucky kind of chap, whereas、uh, Mighty is all about his kind of his strength and his resolve. 本当に昔のキャラクターなんで、あの残っている資料とかも少なくて、まあそのオリジナルの設定と。矛盾なくこうアップデートする正解を探しながらもいい形に最終的にはできたんじゃないかな。結構苦労しましたけどうまくできたと思っています。As long before Sonic Mania came to be, Christian ran the idea for a hypothetical classic Sonic game for a brand new zone, which was Studiopolis. His whole idea for it was that it would take the tried and true casino theme. But put it in a TV studio kind of game show type arena, and immediately this just set my set my mind whirring. I already had a very clear idea in my mind how Studio Office was going to look with the whole Act One being outdoors and then Act Two being inside the television studio. So I would I, I would be telling a few fibs if I said it was a cakewalk, if it was easy to give a fresh look to the zones and encore mode. The whole aim was to change the color palette, as it were. But in order to do that, the color palettes are a separate thing from the actual level assets themselves. No direct modification, like me actually drawing on any of the assets, was made. It was just tweaking the colors. And with the help of Hoshino-san, we were able to find. The right balance of of colours for each zone, making sure that the levels felt fresh enough for encore mode. In the art book that comes with it, there's a there's a ton of great content in there that's behind the scenes from all of all of the, the staff, the art staff that worked on the project. Some fantastic concepts from Hoshino-san and development sketches, all kinds of things. My own team, well, Tom and I, together. 仕事するのはとてもなんか楽しくて、まあ、彼らはもともとファンだからすごくたくさんのことを知っていてもう僕たちが忘れてるようなこともたくさん思い出してくれましたでこう2人でやり取りをしていると、まあ、昔若かった頃に先輩とあのデザインのやり取りをしてた頃を思い出しました I'm feeling like Tom is my son in the UK <笑> <Right> ? <笑> What was particularly nice about working with yourself、um, was how we shared a, a dialogue. Like it was very much an exchange of ideas, you know, be between the pair of us, as opposed to like you know, me, me saying, "Oh, well, this is what I want, and it's my way or the highway," or and vice versa. It was very much a collaborative effort from beginning to the end, and I think that's what contributed massively to what made Sonic Mania as as brilliant as it has become.